new thing that's going on on the internet about gastric glycation and the risk of perforation. Now, we have an accumulated experience. We've done around 230 cases, counting uh, today's, it will be around 236. Uh, our uh, uh, other Mexican experience is up to 60. Um, and the Brazilians are over 300. So that was that would put us roughly at around 600 cases. Now the interesting thing is we all learned the technique in a very similar way. Our technique, our suturing technique, is what permits us to be complication free and let me explain. Uh, we have a calibrating tube. We have a calibrating tube being introduced into the stomach. Now there's reasons, there's reasons why we do two lines of sutures. Very difficult to be able to create the stomach uh, 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 tubular stomach uh, tubular stomach we want just with one line. So the first line of sutures is going to be an independent line, which means one stitch, one knot. They're far mm -hmm. apart, and I'll explain in a minute. So it's going to be sparingly through the whole greater curvature for the outer edge of the stomach. The second line of sutures will be the one that actually contains the stomach in itself and it's a running suture. This combination is what creates a safe gastric plication free from these gastric perforations. Now, we're going to start the surgery and I'll explain as we go through. So it's been a couple of seconds, probably half a minute, and we have one, two, three stitches. These three stitches are forming this first layer of, of stitches are forming this tubular-like stomach. Now, this would be a herniation of the stomach through the stitches. There you go. Now, even if it was swollen, that's not going to cause anything. If these stitches were closer together, say right here, from here, probably one inch, and this would herniate, it would cause a problem because it would cause pinching and it would cause ischemia or blood flow, either venous stasis, which means that the venous, the drainage of the blood would not be draining correctly, or ischemia, arterial blood would not be flowing and feeding this tissue. Because our stitches are so far apart, if this would happen, kind of a fail-safe, nothing, nothing will be uh, uh, at risk. So this is the first line of stitches. What we have here is a stomach with the first line of stitches. Note that it looks tubular. We have the calibrating tube inside. And this first line, its intention is to just form this tube that will assist me on the second line, which is the important line which is the one that contains the plication. That's both of these stitches is permanent, but like I said, if this would happen, if the second line would disrupt theoretically, and this would happen, it would not be caught between the stitches and cause ischemia, and then blood flow, of course, obstruction and perforation. So we thought of this before. This combination is what we use here for over the 200 cases we were mentioning. And this is what the Brazilians have been using. Now note that the way we stitch is sparingly and very lightly. This line of stitches does not hold the plication in place. It's the second line. So that could also be a cause for ischemia, but we avoid it by stitching very light. So this is what we're calling a continuous line of non-absorbable sutures uh, which is a very strong stitch, polypropylene, and it is the containing stitch. Since it's a running stitch, it does not cause ischemia. As we apply it, and you can see between the stitches there is no ischemia. In other words, blood flow obstruction. But what it does do is that it creates an outer zipper-like structure 
which contains the stomach inside of itself, avoiding it from herniating to the outside. So these stitches are now forming what the end result is going to look like, which is basically a sleeve-like looking stomach with a very small inner capacity. So as you can see, this is the end result of the gastric plication. This is a beautifully nice symmetrical line. No signs of it, uh, blood flow uh, uh, restriction anywhere. It's a very small stomach, very similar to what a gastric sleeve, uh, uh, a staple gastric sleeve looks like. Definitely the same volume, resulting volume, intra uh, gastric volume, with a very small antrum. And again, the second containing uh, line of stitches is very symmetrical, causing no ischemia whatsoever. So this combination of stitches is what keeps, this technique is what keeps the patient complication free. We have not experienced any of these complications and we know for a fact that these herniations that happened in other cases and other patients were resulting from a different combination of stitches.